Hey guys, Mr. Mayhem here, uh, showing you how to solve the Guinness Barrel Puzzle. Um, made at the um, Guinness Storehouse in Dublin, Ireland. Um, so, it's um, a pretty simple puzzle. Uh, not too difficult to figure out unless you've never solved it before. So, but that's what I'm here to help you solve um, this puzzle. And, uh, putting it together. So, I'm going to take it apart real quick. Um, yeah, it might take a little while. Not entirely too long, but... Um, yeah, so... While I'm taking it apart, though, um, just a few announcements. So, over the course of the summer um, of 2018, I will not be recording any videos, because um, my... Legos for my stop motions will not um, be operational, and so will my game console. Um, so, um, yeah, that's pretty much the only announcement, really. Um, now, I have all the pieces uh, laid out. Now, the s stuff you really need to start with are these two pieces. So, just put everything else to the side. So... With these pieces, you take um, you take these pieces, and um, you take one and place it in one side of the barrel, like so, and you take the other one and place it in the other side of the barrel. Now that you um, have attached uh, two pieces and two parts, you take the sides of the barrel, which is this, and there's another one. But make sure you're not taking the tops and bottom of the barrel. Because, and you can tell if it's the top and bottom if the lines are on the side. Uh, if the lines are on the side right here. And if um, the connector only takes up half of its width. So, on this one, it takes up the full width and the lines are on top, on the top and bottom. So, you can take both of them. And... You s attach it to one side. It doesn't really matter which side. Um, now that you have that, you take this other side. Make sure this piece is aligned. And you flip it over, attach it like this. Now that you've attached it, you can set it upright. Even though it may not be sturdy, depending on the surface you have. I'm doing it on carpet, so it's not the sturdiest surface. It can still hold toge together. Now take a bottom piece. This bottom piece and take the piece that has the two ends on it. Now you put it together like this and make sure that these little half, half width uh, parts line up uh, together as you see right here. So make sure they line up. Now that you've lined it up you move your barrel over, have this like that. Make sure the end is aligned with the side that says Guinness or um, Geus or whatever. Um, so make sure you have it aligned with that, which it would be on this side in my case. You slide it, it fell apart, but you're supposed to slide it on top carefully, going into the little niches down there. So this is difficult since I'm on carpet, but otherwise it'd be pretty easy. Um, so yeah. There we go. Slid it in like that. And then slid it in like that. And there you go. So now you have this. Now that you have it like this, it's not exactly put together too well. Uh, yeah, now that you, it's, you said it's not exactly put together too well. But now, uh, here comes the tricky part. So these little things on the side, uh, the pieces you put into the sides of the barrel, you need to push the left side to the word Guinness, and this time you need to make sure it's the left side, and take this piece, make sure that the thicker end is on top, slide it in uh, through the hole, you for, through the big hole you made on the right, which is right there, and um, take the piece with the Guinness harp, and uh, make sure that Again, this lines up, this half width part lines up with the center. 
now that you slid it in, you have the Guinness logo. So slide the side back over to where this piece you just put in right here locks into place with all these others. Now the last part's very simple. So put together, so put together these last two remaining pieces, the bottom, uh, the top part, and the um, and this connector part. Slide it together like this. Make sure that it's not matching up and it's uh, only half of each width of the pieces match up. And slide it into this last little hole that goes through the barrel. And now that you've done that, you have your entire barrel. So thank you for watching and uh, I hope you've learned uh, how to put this barrel together.